because we wait to give the lower level learners things until they're ready, and by ready I mean ready to answer the front door. Because the front door is a whole different situation than the back door. They could be lounging out on a lounge chair in their back door, in their backyard, but they haven't built their house yet. They haven't even gotten like the, the permits pulled for it. But you, as the teacher, are knocking on that front door, meaning you've got a skill, they need to know it, you're not gonna give up, you're like the salesman that won't go away, because your job is to keep knocking. You don't get to say, well, Johnny's not home, oh well. Maybe next year, you just keep knocking and keep knocking and keep showing him the flashcard and keep trying to do the activity and you keep knocking. Not only is Johnny not at the door, there is no door. He doesn't have a house yet. He's in the backyard with a beer, you know, hanging out. Well, not with a beer, because he's not, he's a child, I'm sorry. <sighs> For adult ed, that would maybe be the, he's in the backyard with his Coke and he's just hanging out. He's not gonna answer a door. He doesn't know that the door's even there. The back door, however, or the back entrance is about a thousand feet wide and as opposed to the front door, which is only about a foot wide and maybe a foot tall and you have to be a learner that can contort yourself just right to get through it, the back door is so big, it's even got suction. So if you just peek in to see what the heck's going on, you're sucked in and you learn it by default. So the back door is a whole different situation and using it, you can give learners access to things much earlier so that the learners that need the most of these things aren't stuck getting the least and then all of a sudden are hit with the test in third grade. 